Welcome to the November 2021 Oil and Gas Activity Report from TCI Business Capital. Over the past month, oil prices have seen peaks and valleys. On October 18th, WTI closed at 82.44. Since then, prices hit a high of 84.65 on October 26th and a low of 75.94 on October 19th. The prospect of COVID lockdowns in Europe and the release of strategic petroleum reserves has pushed prices lower. The November 19th Baker Hughes Rig Count Report shows 563 active drilling rigs in the U.S. One year ago, the total active land rig count was 310. The oil rig count is 461 rigs. Oil rigs are up 231 from November 2020. The gas rig count is 102, up 26 rigs compared to the November 2020 count. In the major plays, the Permian Basin rig count is at 278 rigs, up 10 rigs from October. In East Texas, the Eagle Ford Shale is at 42 active rigs, an increase of two rigs since October. The Haynesville Shale rig count is at 47 rigs, which is one rig more than the October count. The Anadarko rig count is 44, up one rig from October. In the Rockies, the active rig count in the Nyabrere Shale is 27 rigs, one more than in October. The Bakken Shale rig count is 24 rigs, which is up one from the October count. And the Appalachian has 39 active rigs, which is up one from the October count. The Energy Information Administration's Short-Term Energy Outlook, published on November 15th, shows U.S. crude oil production was 11.1 million barrels a day in August, a slight drop from the July output of 11.3 million barrels a day. The EIA also published a report on November 18th speculating that crude prices will decline in 2022, with higher production by OPEC in the U.S., along with a slowdown in crude demand. If your company needs consistent, reliable cash flow, contact TCI Business Capital. For over 25 years, We've provided working capital and cash flow solutions to oilfield service companies through our invoice factoring programs. To learn more about our custom factoring programs for oilfield contractors, give us a call at 800-707-4845 or visit TCICapital.com.